Welcome back to Lifestyle Live. Now, she's an activist whose efforts to tackle water pollution became famous with the help of an Oscar-winning movie. Now she's going after another critical water problem. Joining us now is Erin Brockovich. Great to have you, Erin. And you're bringing attention to the danger of lead pipes impacting kids in our schools. When did you first uh, see this issue uh, causing issues? Well, listen, these lead issues have been lurking around out in the water system for quite some time. And I, like the rest of America, really learned a lot about flood, uh, lead when the whole Flint situation happened. I really find it disturbing that in 2022, we still have 400,000 daycares and schools impacted by lead in the water. And we've got an infrastructure that has to be changed that won't be done for decades. So we have to start taking a look as parents and protecting our daycares and our schools and finding out what's in our water and starting to take action and a solution to that problem so our children aren't drinking lead. Wow. And, and how dangerous uh, just is lead in pipes when you, when you think about it, getting into these daycares and the schools? Lead is dangerous, and we know that, especially with children, and it can cause certain issues and learning problems, and it is of concern, and we have lead contamination just playing itself out throughout the country. And I know when we always hear this, uh, it's quite frightening, but I want parents to know that there are solutions that we can take, and I am really happy to be a part of the Brita Water Solution. We are doing a campaign to inform parents and give them an education and knowledge on lead and water through a water solution program. And if you go to Brita.com slash daycare, parents will have a place to go to to learn information and we will send you filters. So in the daycares, you can be assured that water that's being used that could have lead contamination in it will be filtered and safety for your children. Uh, what can be done to ensure that the water we drink is pure in the meantime? What do you feel like can be done? What's, what are some things that parents can do? Well, in the meantime, um, you're going to have to be informed and find filtration specifically for lead, which we're discussing this morning. That will be the solution. Also, we need to understand our water quality reports. And if you have a concern about your water, and lead in your water, you need to call your municipality. If you're not getting a quarterly report, you need to demand one. Part of the solution will be us taking action, being informed, and using filtration for safe drinking water for our children until we have the bigger solution and our infrastructure issues and our lead pipes resolved. Now, Aaron, of course, in crisis situations, a lot of times people typically turn to bottled water. Why should we consider using alternatives, you think? Well, so bottled water can't just be the only solution. And I understand bottled water has its purpose in emergencies. But we have an amazing water system and we should be able to trust our municipality and our water. And I think that it's important to know that you can have the bottled water for that backup. But bottled water is leading to other issues with, you know, drawing down aquifers and the pollution that we're all learning from the plastics throughout the ocean. So I do think that we have a great water system. We need to trust it and we should be able to rely on it. Awesome. And in an emergency situation, of course, bottled water, bottled water is necessary. Awesome, Aaron. Before we let you go, uh, how can people follow this campaign that you're on right now? So go to Brita.com slash daycare. You will learn a lot of information for water solutions. Awesome. She's Aaron Brockovich, everybody. Thank you so much for having us. We appreciate you.